Uh, Otis, uh, so far the bowling has been uh, pretty good uh, in most of the matches. Uh, going ahead uh, against England, obviously a very different batting lineup. Um, how much you think the uh, likes of Mustafiz or Saifuddin uh, will have to, you know, bank on uh, their varieties and their full skill set uh, against England? The sort of batting lineup. Yeah, well, um, we we know that England are very powerful line batting lineup. Um, and we know that we have to be on our A game, you know, if we're going to really challenge him and, and ultimately win the game. So uh, it's something that we spoke about last night in our in our team meetings. Um, and, you know, we've got an opportunity today at practice to sort of practice some of the things that came out of that meeting in terms of, of our delivery. Um, and the key thing for us is to be is to be accurate with what what we what we're going to deliver and, and back ourselves. You know, we know that they're going to come out hard, but we know that they also give you chances. You know, they were chasing only 50, 55 against the West Indies, and they lost four wickets. So that's something that we can that we can use as a positive. You know, we must we must be at our best, um, but but we know that that they will give us uh, opportunities to take wickets. Uh, what is just additionally as a senior coach in this setup? Uh, are you concerned with the catching over the last uh, sort of uh, ten months? Since the pandemic, because there has been a lot of skiers that have gone down, um, a number of catches have gone down in this tournament, crucially in the last game. Is that a concern? Um, <laughs> catches get dropped in every every cricket match. Is you know one or two catches go down. Obviously, when the catches um, sort of result in in or, or play a part in the result of the game, it's highlighted more. You know, but we we do a lot of catching practice. We do a lot of various different. Catching drills, um, you know. Ultimately, when the game is, when the game, when the guys are out in the middle under pressure, then things, uh, mistakes like catches, catches going down happen. You know, is it a concern? I wouldn't say it's a concern because we practice it. We practice it every day. Um, you know, but the fact is, obviously, uh, when it gets dropped, when catches go down, and, and then um, at the end of the game, though, that's the thing that gets highlighted. You know, but uh, we work very hard on our skills, uh, catching being one of them. Sikander, if you want to ask your question now. Uh, hi, Coach. Uh, uh, coming days, you are going to face a lot of uh, strong teams uh, like Australia, uh, England, and uh, others. Uh, so, do you think you can beat anyone in this game? It's <laughs> a bit of a strange question. Of course, we think, you know, we're here. We believe that we can beat any team, uh, T20 cricket. Um, Um, I'm, I'm saying um, we yes we we believe we can beat any team in the competition. You know we um, the qualifying groups was tough for us um, and we got through that um, a little bit nervy, but we're here now in in the in the big. In the big dance, and we feel that at the big dance that we're not here just to make up the numbers. We're here to take part, and we're here to try and win. And we believe that on our day we can beat any team. Uh, Raj Vishnathan. Hi, thanks, Ravi. Uh, Coach, can you just give us a bit of a insight into what is the uh, mindset of Liton Das? Obviously, he's been, uh, 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 I mean, you know, talked about as a huge talent, but he has uh, cost the team probably uh, with those two drop catches. He hasn't had a big score yet, uh, and he's also picked up some penalty in terms of fine. Uh, what is the attitude that you have, uh, especially from the coaching point of view? Uh, how do you look at him? How do you kind of prop him up for the next coming game sitting? Uh, listen, that is one of our key players. Um, he's one of our best fielders, first of all. So, you know, you know the fact that a couple of catches went down. Is it, can I speak? Yeah. You know the fact that he, he dropped a couple of catches doesn't diminish from from what he contributes to the team. Of course, anybody any anybody can drop a catch. You know, and like I said before, it's highlighted because those catches you can argue contributed to, to, to the to the result of the game. But he's one of our key players, um, and he has been for a while. Uh, and and the reality is that. Um, any other fielder in that position could have dropped drop those catches as well. So what we do is we get around him, we support him, 
we remind him of, of his quality and remind him that he's a, he's a key player for us and we, and we support that player, whether it is Leighton Das or any other player. Ekush, your question, please. Uh, hi, Otis. Uh, how important of pace bowler role against England tomorrow? Uh, do you feel uh, one more extra pace uh, in 11 will give uh, some more, more positive vibe? Uh, it's a good question. We have to see the conditions first, um, you know, but what we have got here, um, and I've said this from the beginning of the tournament, what we have got here is, is we've, we've got all bases covered. We've got the skill and, the, and, and, and you know, the cutters or whatever of, of um, Mr. Fizzer. We've got the death bowling of um, Seifuddin. We've got the pace of Taskin. We've also got the pace, the left-handed variety of, of Shoriful in our, in our squad. So um, the captain and the coach, um, the the, the terminus electors that, that pick this pick the 11 that goes on the field, they have the opportunity to look at all those options uh, and then choose what they think is the best options for um, to win the match. Um, conditions will depend on, on what 11, what 11 goes out on the pitch. But uh, as far as our pace bowling is concerned, we've got all bases covered with the four guys that we have here. Parvez, your question, please. Uh, can you hear me, Coach? Yes, I can, yeah. Uh, there are two questions. Uh, number one, uh, you have already mentioned that uh, catches drop in every match uh, in cricket. Uh, but when the uh, when dropping the catches cost you the game, how difficult it is uh, to be re to regroup the team before a big match against England. This is number one. And the other question is: there are a lot of controversies going back home, especially the former captain Mashrafi bin Murtuza. Uh, raised few questions like he say he agreed that team is not performing well, but also he thought that coaching coaching staffs are not doing their job as as well. So, what's your thoughts on that? Um, well, to the second question, I have no thoughts whatsoever. Um, that doesn't that doesn't interest or concern me. Whatever anybody outside of our circle is is, is saying. We know what we do here as a coaching group. So, whatever anybody else is saying outside of the group doesn't really matter. Um, and then. Uh, what was the first question again? First question was that you have already mentioned that uh, catches drop in every cricket match, but when yeah. the drop catches cost you the game, how difficult it is to re re regroup the team before a big match against England? Okay, well, again, that 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 goes back to the individual and how he sees it. You know, from a group point of view, and certainly from a coaching point of view, we 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 back that player, we get behind that player, we remind him of his quality, we remind, we remind him of his role in the team and the, the, the value that he brings to the team. Um, you know, like I said, anybody can drop catches at any time. Um, uh, and we mustn't allow that one drop catch to, to hopefully to affect the player too much. Outside of what, outside of our group um, on social media and stuff like that, we can't control what people are saying on social media. What we can, what, only thing we can control is what is being said in the group and around the group uh, and, and certainly um, nobody's blaming that player in our group for the for the for the game. Um, we're supporting that player and, and reminding him of, of the value that he brings to us, and also reminding him that there are four four more games to go in the tournament. So you know, so um, hopefully tomorrow we can put in a really good performance. That player takes a brilliant catch, and everybody's saying saying something completely different. David David Charlesworth. Hi, Otis. Thanks for your time. Um, you were obviously with England at the start a white ball transformation. Yeah. Uh, I was wondering what you what you thought they've gone on to, 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 do, to do since then, um, you know, going from more or less rock bottom to, to winning the World Cup and being regarded as one of the most dangerous batting lineups. And is, have, have you were able to, like, sort of feed the Bangladesh bowlers a bit on, and give them a bit of an inside trap into how they approach things? Uh, yeah, look, I think... Um, Owen Morgan was was um, crucial to the sort of the way that England has started to play white ball cricket. Um, they've picked obviously different players uh, compared to 2015, um, and you know the, the brand of cricket that they play is they, they they're positive all the time. You know they're going to take the positive option. So I've spoken to our bowlers and our batsmen. You know England England bowlers are looking to take wickets all the time. Um, and England batters are looking to score runs all the time and put borders under pressure. So 
you know, the, the, the message is not to panic. Uh, understand that you are going to get hit. You might bowl a good ball and get hit because that's the way they play. That's their mentality. But they also give you opportunities to take wickets. You know, so we must we must be we must be calm. We must try and execute our skills, our plans. Um, and, and when those opportunities come, we must take those opportunities, of course. But we must the, the one thing we must remain as a bowling group is calm and and, and very considered in how we approach um, every ball that we bowl. Next is uh, Ronnie. Hi, Otis. Uh, how do you assess uh, Mustafizur Rahman's performance so far? Uh, obviously, he could, uh, took some wickets in the first two matches, but uh, if you consider his overall impact, are you happy with that? And the skill set he has, uh, do you feel that uh, he has been uh, deliver, able to deliver his best yet? Um, Fizz is a key bowler for us, and he's good in any conditions. I think we've seen, um, you know, even in the IPL just recently, the value that he brings. Of course, in Bangladesh, where his cut is a lot more effective, then it's different. But here, the one thing I like about him um, more than anything is that he's able to adjust um, to conditions very quickly, you know. So he sees what the conditions offer, and he's able to bowl out there. Um, you know, he's still a key player for us, um, our bowling lineup, especially at the back end of the innings and so on. But he can also swing the ball back in now, which is something that we've worked uh, very hard on um, to get him to do. And, and you know, he's a, he's, a, he's a weapon for us with a new ball as well as the old ball at the back end of the innings. Next is uh, Zubair. Hey, Otis, can you hear me? Yeah. So after a loss like that, when team was in a winning position against Sri Lanka, you look up and you see that your next op opponent is England. Before yeah. a game like that, how do you assess team's morale before? And uh, which are the area you thought you could expose if there is any in England side? Uh, look, I, I said just two questions ago, the way the, the England mindset is always to be positive. Uh, and, you know, on the day, you're positive, but if the conditions doesn't doesn't allow for your positivity, sometimes you give you, you give wickets away. You know, like I said, they were chasing 50 or 55 against the West Indies and they lost four wickets for those 55 runs. And most of those wickets, Moin was run out, but some other batsmen got out. Um, Taking trying to play that positive role, you know. Um, on the day if we play well, we play to our potential, um, then we, we they will give us opportunities to win to win the game. Uh, or, or to have a say in the game. Uh, if we take those opportunities, then the result could very well go in our favour. We're not, we're not scared of any team in the, in the competition. England are a very formidable batting lineup. They, they play strong cricket, um, but we're here to, like I said, we're here to compete and to win, uh, and that's what we'll be looking to do tomorrow. We'll take one last question, uh, Bappi. Hello, coach. Can you hear me? Yes, I can, yeah. Coach, uh, we see in the last match, uh, England two spinner, Adil Rashid and Moin Ali doing a great job. Uh, what is your plan against them? What's the, what's the question? We see in the last match, England two spinner, Adil Rashid and Moin Ali doing a great job. What is your yeah. plan against them? Uh, to score as many runs as possible, that's our plan. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>